welcome to the channel afternoon November 5th I believe it is uh, Thursday going solo today on a small lake in the uh, whitefish chain area uh, been on here a couple times before for bass uh, it's usually a dink fest but there are some decent ones in here we're gonna see what we can do uh, it's about noon getting out fairly late it was cold last night I think it was 20 three when we woke up it's uh, pushing 40 now so light winds should be a decent day on the water I'm looking forward to getting out a little bit here Rick is uh, home he uh, had a doctor's appointment this morning and uh, got somebody coming to the place to do some work this afternoon so he may join me later if uh, time frees up for him but if not I'll be fishing completely alone today that's why I got the life jacket on full time today would hate to stumble and fall in the lake and so always safety first, remember that when you're out by yourself and the waters are, temperatures are this cold, it's uh, lower than, you know, it's 47 degrees or something like that. So got to be careful, uh, not to say that that would save me, I guess, but at least give me a shot. So uh, we'll get started here in a second. I'm going to throw some moving baits, maybe slow down a little bit if we find some fish on some deeper weeds, if there's some green weeds around. Otherwise, we're just going to spin around the lake and see what we can do. Thanks for joining. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll get started here in a second. Keeper. I think he picked it off the bottom. I'm not sure. He may have picked that off the bottom because I kind of stopped reeling and it plunged in there. I don't know. That's the first keeper for the day. That's an interesting sign. He was uh, on top of a flat here. He ain't big. Keeper number one on a underspin. Throwing a Berkeley uh, Fusion underspin. Silver blade, white and chartreuse and blue. Uh, one pound, 15 ouncer. Number one. That's good. Been fishing about 15 minutes. Caught a couple of shorts and then that one, so maybe we can get something going here. It was really odd. I bent down to fix my cable here, and it's like he hit it off the bottom. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll give it a shot here. Keep going. Keeper. Yeah. One's a little better. That's a two pounder, I'd say. It's got some interesting, got a little black mark on his nose. Nice. That's fish number two. Same uh, bait. I broke one off over here on the hook set, the knot broke. And then when I retied, tightened the line, the line broke again. So I'm a little nervous about that. Oh, cookie cutters, man. Cookie freaking cutters. It's another one pound 15 ouncer, so just under two. Really pretty. Look at the look at the markings on them. Really pretty fish. See that? Beauty. That's number two. Three more to five. Really want to try and get 13 today. I don't know if that'll work out. Uh, I know there's some good ones in here, but we've had a difficulty catching them in the few times we've been on this lake. So 
going to give it a shot here without Rick. And it makes it tough because he always catches the big ones. That looks like a two pounder. Little fusion underspin with a little largo shad on it. The white largo shad. number three it's a one or a two pound one ounce two pound one ounce they're all cookie cutter size but there are big ones in here we just gotta stumble on them here right now I'm just having fun catching these catching quite a few fish so that's uh, that's the goal today shad on there instead of the white one because I haven't been getting any bites it's been once the wind picked up the fish just shut off been fishing deep shallow everywhere can't find them. digits today I just don't know if I can do it it's been so slow but we're gonna keep trying seven but that's five baby that's it's been a long time fish number five a one pound ten ounce or 8.92 8.92 is where I'm sitting right now uh, I got a 1.4 that I'd really like to get rid of. And obviously that 1.10 I'd like to get rid of as well. I'd like to get a couple of two pounders, but we'll see how it goes. I got five though, so that's a success for me today, I think. Let's see if we can get a, see if we can get another good one. bigger than one four but I 
don't think it is. But I got a call for God's sakes, that's amazing. So that's going to do it for me today in this uh, whitefish chain area lake. Ended up with the uh, 8.92, just could not get much going. Caught, uh, I think I caught eight fish total and a northern, so nine fish. And I broke off on one, uh, must have been my, my line must have had a nick in it, uh, broke off on the uh, hook set. It looked like the knot broke, but uh, then when I retied and, and cinched up, the line broke again, so the line must have been weak. I'm, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, who knows what that could have been. So, uh, pretty feeble effort, but hey, I caught five, and it was a beautiful day on the water. Pretty nice out. Not, a little chilly with the wind, but once the wind started blowing, the fish just shut off. I caught a couple late in a kind of protected pocket. Uh, but, man, I tried deep, I tried shallow, I tried everywhere. The weed line is 21 feet deep, still just lush green weeds. But it doesn't start until about 12 or between 12 and 14. So everything shallow's dead. Everything's deep, looks great. I fished uh, shallow with uh, worms and such and moving baits. And I fished deep with uh, uh, drop shot and... Uh, some creature baits and things like that. The only thing I could get him to bite on was the underspin, and I caught all my fish on that and didn't get a, didn't even have a bite on anything else. So it must be reaction strike time because they're not taking anything, uh, anything that's not really moving. So it was uh, pretty difficult but fun. Hope we can get out at least one or two more times before the weather takes a turn for the worse here. I want to thank you so much for joining and watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the water next time.